You know, landmarks become landmarks in a variety of ways. For some, it's because of their historical value. Others, because, well, it just stands out. Well, there's one such contender for a West Boise Way post that may fill both those bills, and many of you may have seen it already. People in one Boise neighborhood say they got a new eye catcher in what seemed like overnight. Well, it's been a few months, but it is seemingly out of place. Maybe they just didn't notice it. I mean, sometimes your train of thought just takes you. Look, there's a caboose, but it's not on the loose. It is firmly planted on Whitewater Boulevard. Andrew Bartline, well, he tracks down why. It's one of those neighborhoods that longtime residents lose count of the changes. That street wasn't there, for starters. Uh, either it was the park, or it's been old quarry, so <laughs> that says something. Where Whitewater meets Woodlawn, they're on track for a new fold in the fabric. <laughs> Probably get distracted, be like, why is there a train there? <laughs> I don't know. In the back of the collective mind among the Woodlawn locals, like Leo Peregrina um, shows us his best Sherlock Holmes. I don't know, I kind of like the quirkiness of it. They put the train tracks down like months before, and then the, the caboose appeared randomly. It was really weird. Months? Uh, it said June 27th. But I was like, wait a minute, that's not normal. <laughs> Serendipity rarely is. Because, like, you can't just, like, push it on, obviously. I have no idea. Leo's on the right track. Kind of a long story. But we'd rather hear it straight from the brakeman's mouth. She's always wanted trains and... Michael Blood. It was, I kind of gave it to her as a gift, and she didn't know anything about it while I was looking for the caboose. I, I purchased it from a Yankee machine shop down in southeast Boise. Parked now in a side lot. Perfect small slice of land. Behind their current Airbnb listing. You built those railroad tracks? Th that's correct. Uh, we, we built them. Where do you learn to do something like that? You just had to figure it out. The internet? Uh, no, the internet doesn't have anything like that. And there's no, nobody who builds those by hand anymore. It's all done by large machinery. They used a fair share of that too. Yeah, you can't just like roll this thing up from the street, huh? No, 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 no. It took a lot more work than that. Do you think they're functional? I mean, they put a train on it. <laughs> like, <laughs> I want to go pushing on it. It's a labor of love. I suppose so, sure. For Michael's love. It is expensive yard art. Janae. So my whole family's kind of been in the train industry for as long as anyone can remember. Every family reunion we sang, I've been working on the railroad. Fitting now, their caboose played a historic role for those who worked on the train cars. This particular one was actually a crew car, so it had quarters for the crew to sleep in, and then they maintained the train from the caboose. Their focus is on preservation today. One date night on a Tuesday night, we started the paint. Bringing the rear end up to the forefront. Definitely shine like a jewel sooner than later. A couple date nights down the line till the red coat completely covers the car. But in no time, already on track for local landmark status. Yeah, given directions will be real easy now. If you get to the train, you've gone too far. I've never thought of that, actually. That would be really smart. <laughs> the couple's not positive what they will do with the caboose exactly. They say the inside right now is completely gutted, and since it's right next door to their current Airbnb listing, they're flirting with the idea of making this a short-term rental, but they don't seem completely married to that idea quite yet. Michael says the cost, Brian, if you're wondering, he says it's uh. similar to a tiny house. He didn't want to give us a dollar figure but I imagine he loves his wife very much if he's buying her a train. I, absolutely. I think there are some people watching this story or in that neighborhood who said, if you get to the train, yes, you've gone too far. If that's what we're decorating <laughs> yards worth with, yeah. you've gone too far. But no, it's, it's, a, it's a novel idea for exactly. And then turning it into the red caboose is a great idea. Yeah. Well, they also said that uh, while they're flirting with ideas of what they want to do with it, they want to know what the viewers think of it. Ah. So that whole text thing, you do that on the show, right? Yep, yep, just send it right to us. Perfect. Let us know what they should do with the caboose. They want to hear from you. Better idea than maybe spending the night in it. We'll see. Coffee shop.